There are plenty of abandoned houses in this area. They're using like really bad language. Bad Asian guy. Today we are visiting the biggest slum in Thailand, Klong Toy in Bangkok. Hello and welcome to Homeless Pelican Channel. I'm vlogger and YouTuber from Poland. I will drive over 4,000 kilometers in Thailand. I will show you the most interesting places, people and activities. Let's check out the slums. Today I'm shooting the episode with Jean and she is a bit concerned about the place. Do you feel safe here? A little bit. Have you been here before? We had the noodles before starting this episode and husband of the owner of the restaurant is the police officer. So Jean shared a location with him just in case, just for extra safety. But he said this area now is getting better. It was really bad during the COVID and now the people, they want to improve their life situation and it's way safer than it was. And I will tell you the story of that place while we will be exploring. Uh, recycling shops are very common for slums area around the world. You see that? That's extra protection. That is the main street. And of course, we need to explore the side streets. Are you nervous? No. We're good, it's still Thailand. For me, it's a very safe place. We read that around this, hello. <laughs> around this neighborhood, people are less friendly, but I didn't feel it so far. Like, people are still smiling, and if you say hello, they will say hello back. <laughs> My name is Michael. Nice to meet you. And this is Jean. <laughs> Jean. 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 Oh, I like this one. I like. Very pretty. Thai flag and the dragon. Oh. My, my, like skateboard. Skateboard. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So the boy told us that they have some aggressive dogs here and he brought a stick to protect us. It's very kind of them. There are plenty of abandoned houses in this area, also like small temples and the kids are playing in the abandoned house. It sounds bad but like for me it was super fun. I was playing in abandoned house as well when I was a kid. Those kids like spoke to each other. They're using like really bad language but with me it's really respectful. You can play school with them. Yeah. <laughs> I hope those are not those aggressive dogs. Let's just pass by. So it seems like the area was floated many times. You can barely see the water because there is like a lot of trash. Even inside we can find the fish farm. Those are the machines which are producing the oxygen so you can eat the fresh fish from here. Inside of the area you can find small stores, restaurants, laundries, like everything and yeah the fish farm and a lot of different animals. So uh, like a bad looking guy, a lot of tattoos, like an old criminal, he had a bad look so you know in those places it's a bit sketchy, there is like no way out so better to be careful. 
So we met another two not so kind guys. You know, I don't care so much for myself, but I'm with the girl, so I need to be more careful. So let's stick to more open areas, not so tight, you know, like, like this one. <laughs> You like skateboarding? Skateboard, ball. Skateboard, Yeah! Nice! Yeah! 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 The kids here are so kind and happy. I hope that they will get a proper education, which the government is working on right now in this area, and they can leave the place. <laughs> <laughs> when there are kids, they are very innocent. I hope that they will choose the right path and keep their kindness in their hearts forever. Super local. So, Jean, this is safety zone. We're safe here. <laughs> So also slum areas are often habitated by elderly people. I don't want to film them too much, but like let's say here, there is like a resting area next to the safe zone. I love this guy's haircut. If you see like a lot of plants, a lot of flowers, that's most likely grandmother taking care of it. Beautiful. Tomorrow is the Thai festival called Loi Gatong, which we thought um, Thai banana leaf is something to apologize to God, goddess of river. So it's tomorrow and she's making this one to sell tomorrow. Ah, yeah. How much will she sell for? 70, like 50 to 70. Oh, okay. One to two dollars, depending on the size. And We have to change the way because there were like two or three guys looking at us and actually it's very easy to recognize the bad guys here because they are shirtless and they have a lot of tattoos like you know prison style tattoos so it's a stereotype bad asian guy that's my favorite energy drink as well m150 guys check it out this is like a floating river and there is a bridge to the kitchen it's so dope so it's like i still see a lot of posters and pictures of previous king We're back on the main street, let's drink something. But you can see the rare footage of Thai electricians at work. This is one of the most dangerous professions in work. And those guys are fine. They are smiling and they survived those cable madness. So Jean asked them if it's dangerous to work as an electrician. They say, no, 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 it's fine. And they were not fixing, just adding some more cables. We also asked them if they had any time accident in the work. They say, no, no, no. <laughs> so it's easy actually. So we have 7-Eleven here, as everywhere in Thailand, next to the cozy house. She is suffering from hot, so I was expecting like worse smell here, that it will smell bad. It's pretty okay, it's same as in other parts of the town. So what is it? It's Italian soda. In the biggest slum in Thailand? Yeah. Tastes like Venice. So the area here is actually pretty huge. We could spend a few hours walking, but we were recommended not to stay here in the night. I thought this one is abandoned, but no, actually it's a condo and there is a community living there. So here we are, the district number seven. I mean, it used to be called uh, Tong Tui Slum, but then the new president changed the name to be more, you know, like nicer. So right now it's the developing village. Number Tom 70. Third. Yes. <laughs> This is the adoption center and those kids are waiting for new parents. Car being covered by the bed sheet. 
classic. That's pretty cool. They have an announcement that they are doing some construction works, expanding the road, and they have some extra soil and plants. So everybody who lives here can just go there and ask for the free plants and they will give it to them. So the locals can make the neighborhood prettier. Why? Oh, he can, he can. <laughs> High five. So that is how the final product looks like. So here there is a turtle farm. Wow. This is a big one. So the cats and dogs are just sleeping like this on the floor, on the ground in Thailand. And this is especially dangerous when you drive a scooter or motorcycle. They just lay like that, they don't care. Wait. It's the goddess of the soil. Yeah, so when we do like donation, she lives underground, so, so she will collect those water like um, on her hair and then she squeezes it. Okay, so that's for the good luck or something? That's for like um, good things that you have done in your life. So in 1960s, the Bangkok Thai government decided to build a port around here. So that's why they brought a lot of workers, construction workers from all around Thailand. And then they made a village here. They started to work and live here. After that, the Vietnam War began. So American government asked Thai people if they can store their battleships, their boats here. So Hachiko. So that time this place was pretty rich. So all the people who already were here, they brought their relatives, their families. So more people came here, the village expanded. But then the Vietnam War was ended. The port project was kind of on hold, it was stopped. So suddenly we had a lot of people from different areas of Thailand with different religions, backgrounds, being here and they became homeless. This is how the slum were created. People were not having jobs, they were poor. There was many of them and most of the houses were created by them. So the construction was illegal and that is the cost. That is what we are seeing at this moment. And the government is putting a lot of effort to make this place better. Of course, as in most of the slum, the authorities try to kick out the people who live here, but yeah, they failed. People are still here. Even if they were offered the new houses, they prefer to stay in this area. This is my favorite skater girl doing. <laughs> and as you see, some of the streets are very pretty. A lot of plants, a lot of barking. I'm barking as well sometimes. <laughs> so every house has some kind of temples, but also like uh, Christmas signs. So again, we are in the smaller streets and like every second, every third house is abandoned here. So here was like a kindergarten, a babysitting place, but now it's also abandoned. The vibes here are, I would say, pretty much okay. I feel most likely safe and comfortable, let's say. But yeah, once in a while the bad guys are popping out and those are a little bit sketchy moments. But yeah, in general, okay. It is really hot here. Another bad guy gave me the look. I feel a little bit stressed, but fortunately, the good kids are here. <laughs> so we are under the highway now. There is also a lot of stores here, a lot of houses, and a lot of like, yeah, this kind of thing, which is, I don't know, probably a store in the house. I also have a cannabis bar over here. You wanna go? <laughs> no, I'm not smoking. Okay, so thank you so much for today. What do you think? Was it's it scary? No. I think it wasn't too bad. So just make sure you are careful. So we will have over 20 episodes from Thailand. I drove all the way south. We will visit some other cities, jungle, waterfalls, beach, islands, interesting places in general. 
make sure to stay tuned see you in another episode peace out